Hey everybody, welcome back to our 2007 Club Car Preston and Build. I've gone ahead and done a couple of things without you. I went out today, we got a fresh set of Crown batteries to install. Uh, we did get a set of LED whips that are normally found on ATVs out west, but we're going to try it on a golf cart. I haven't fully wired it up, so we'll talk about that. And I'll uh, get you in here and we'll show you the fuse panel and the voltage reducer that we put in for this cart. Just kind of go over a little bit of wiring. And uh, we'll get these wires hidden, get everybody put in, and wrap it up. Let's get started. All right, so let's start with what we've got going on right now. So found these red mounts on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description, as well as these four foot LED, what they call whips. So these things will, or I'm able to tie them into the brake lights, the turn signal lights, and also backup lights from what I'm looking at here in the description. Pretty simple wiring harness. You got your positive and negative that we're going to attach to the fuse panel. But then here is where I have some additional wiring that comes with this particular set. And we see if it focuses in. So you got the white wire here is reverse, red is brake, black is turn left, or excuse me, black is turn right, and yellow is turn left. So it comes with these connectors. Also comes with this handy dandy remote. So I'm not going to run a power switch in this one for this application. You've got your on off here. You can also download an app. The other thing it comes with is a couple of flags that you can run. These are the flag holders. It's got an American flag and it came with uh, don't tread on me one. Um, and then the instructions don't really talk too, too much about wiring it up. It does talk a little bit about downloading the app. Might get into that. These are just some zip ties over here and more, uh, more for the flag installation. So it has a connector here that's a screw in because these are a quick release removable. So let's pull this guy up and off it comes. Either if you're loading them on a trailer or you know, you're in a situation where you can't leave them on. But that's what these guys are. This particular kit did come with the spring. So when you're driving down the road, they'll probably move around a little bit on us, which is fine. Uh, again, Bluetooth connectivity. And we're just going to figure out how exactly we want to run these wires. So I've got two of the batteries in so far, or excuse me, four of them in so far. I left the centers out because we got to do some wiring. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is this goes to the right tail light. I think we'll try and connect in on these wires here. I've got my left tail light out here. And then obviously we've got my fuse panel uh, going on here. So our voltage reducer is down there. That's bringing 12 volts into this entire panel. These I've got here, we did just test it as we saw in the intro last night, but I didn't tuck anything in or run anything permanently. And I think while we're in here, what I'm gonna do is, these are my headlights coming from 12 volt. I think what I'm going to do while I have these batteries out, we'll drop them down to the lower side. I think the seat is touching this a little bit, but we'll make more room in here for because we, we have these center batteries out. So I'll uh, mess around with that for a little bit and uh, come back to you when we get that taken care of. So here's where I'm at so far. I moved everything down on the fuse panel. Uh, we're going direct. This is the wiring from the whips. This is the wiring coming from the headlight kit. We've got those secondary wires right here ready to get into the taillight harnesses. And then those big main ones got stuffed through here and down out the bottom where they go out to the motor. So we'll run those up. And that's where we're at at the moment. A little quick update. We'll button some of this up. 
I'll be back with you. So real quick, little cover. It's got the uh, labels on it. So this is the headlight kit, obviously whip lights. So next owner will know what we're doing. So, all right, so a little update. We've got the directionals wired in here. I did them with these things here where you snap them in. This is under the assumption that brown is gonna be brake lights. The yellow is gonna be the right turn signal. Over here, I'm assuming that the white wire coming from the wiring harness is gonna be for the left turn signal. And I'm gonna run this white one out to the reverse switch. And I'm gonna test this first before, so I'm assuming that once you click it over to here, this terminal, so I'm gonna ring this in with, with that. And obviously I got the new batteries in. I just snugged down. They're just kind of loosely in here for now. I got the one positive to put in. We'll start testing a couple things here. All right, so I got this through here. Again, this is where we are. And what I'm gonna do is, there's a, there's a space to hide it here. And we're gonna come right up through this hole here. So it gives me enough slack. I'll show you what I did here. So I've got this cable hider. I cut a little notch in it so it will sit here. We'll be able to hold this cable here. And it actually will give us a little bit of play back and forth. It'll slide around inside of this. This is just from a hardware store to hide like um, electrical cable or whatever on your wall. So I put it with this side in on the other side. And then I'll pull the tape. Stick that in there. It'll be pretty clean. And looks like we have just enough So it'll look like, look like this. Let me wrap that up real quick. Take these little tags off. Now that's hidden. To be nicer to put a little something on that, but gives you a little slack here. You'll be able to pull it around or something. All right, let's clean up. I did a little testing and here's my current situation. Key on and with them on, they power on. Okay, cool. Awesome. Left blinker, right blinker. And when you step on the brake, I get amber, which I was hoping to get red. I do not have anything hooked up right now to the brake line. So what ended up happening is I found last night when I turned the driving lights on, they would go red. So I thought I was just hooked up to the driving light setting and then that shot them red but seeing as i step on the brake here and they go amber where i was plugging into with the rear light wiring harness must only be getting a signal from must be the same signal for uh, the directionals and the brake so i think what we're going to do is i'm going to try to grab onto something in the brake box which will be a it's only 
bead. So we'll have to open some of this up. I cut, I cut these guys out. So right now I don't have anything hooked up to red, which is the, the supposed to be the brake setting, but I'm still getting brake lights. So it's getting that feed from when the lights go uh, brighter via the signal or either way, right? So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm just going to jump it for now to see if it actually works. So struggling a little bit with tying these into the wiring harness. Otherwise, it was an easy install, but trying to tie them into trying to tie them into the the lighting system is where I'm going bad. We got a little bit of a failure here. Otherwise, kids love them. Uh, we test them out a little bit, but uh, I gotta finish up getting these in. Here's the update. Took the mat out and messed around a little bit in here with these wires. So this is coming right off of the brake plunger. I've got my negative up on the negative battery terminal. So when I hit the brake pedal, I get 12 volts. And then when not on, I get nothing. So this is the wire that I'm going to use. I'm going to splice into that. I already went ahead and ran a wire through and I did have to loosen the body. I had to loosen the <clears throat> charging receptacle panel. Just get that up a little bit, fish it through, got it up. And then now we're up into here and we'll have to neaten this, these guys up. I did the connections that I made before where I had those wires cut, I took those off, taped them up and put them back in. Those are, those wires are still connected with that blue connector thing I used. So I do believe this is going to be the way to go. Going right into here. It'll be brake lights. So let's just test that. All right. So let's, I'm going to, I'm going to go through all the cycles and make sure that we're working. I temporarily, Put that wire in here. It's out of the timer, so I gotta hook the timer back up, but let's just see. Okay, so I still have the signals left and right. And then when I touch the brake, boom. There's my brake lights with the whip. So that's how that's gonna work. Then it goes back to whatever cycle you have it in. And turn the lights on. Right, tail light is on. And it doesn't affect these at all. Okay, so I think that's what we needed. Uh, so let's officially wire all that in. And that really, I think that'll take care of us. All right, after further review and multiple testing, here's where we really ended up. So again, off of the timer, I was originally going to two. That is not correct. We go to one. Uh, because you press this down and then if it was in park, it was just keeping obviously the brake lights on, right? So as long as this thing was in park, I was only going to have brake lights. So obviously if it's sitting somewhere and you want them to be dancing around doing whatever, originally I went directly from the brake pedal in. So I needed to come off the timer. So I tested around a little bit more this the, the one that's orange coming out of the factory or or the aftermarket light kit that's the one i wanted so i went out and got um one of those one to two deals instead of splicing into the wires i didn't feel like cutting all that stuff up so i went this route instead so to get the brake lights and the signal lights working let's review do it at the pedal for brake lights number three off the timer so that's step one and then what you want to do is come in and find i use the right side is yellow the left turn signal is white so we're spliced into there and again like it does give you this wiring harness came with those instructions which is not focusing but that's what i ended up that's what ended up happening so try to save y'all some time uh, and again, I'm not going to hook up the reverse lights because reverse out of the switch is sending 48 volts and all of the rest of this is at 12. So last thing to do is just get all this zip tied, cleaned up, covered up so I don't arc anything here 
we'll get all of that tucked back in, get the mat back on, um, and really wrap it up because now everything is working as it should for real. So we'll button that up off camera. And I think what we'll do is I'll see you when the sun goes down and we'll have, we'll look at, look at how it looks then. been a couple days using our new friends here uh, at night they're pretty fun they are super bright uh, we were parked in a friend's driveway just chatting it up and I had to turn down the brightness which you can do via these remotes so that's the lowest it goes and that's as bright as it goes and if it's gonna be anywhere near you you gotta turn it down especially at night during the day though when they're bright obviously you can see everything I have a couple of clips for you going through the woods you can definitely see how bright they are and how much they illuminate the ground around you. Uh, so brightness with these is certainly not an issue. Uh, I'm sure everybody more or less realized as I was trying to wire these up, obviously there was no diagram. I didn't really do a whole lot of research with it. It was definitely a shoot from the hip scenario. So hopefully you followed along. And if you want to put one of these sets of these on your cart, kind of know where to go a little bit faster than maybe I did. One thing that I am seeing with these, even when we do turn them off, when you do go to use your brake pedal or your signals, they still will be on and they still will function. So that's one weird little thing. So they do shut back off, but they are off. But they are getting power from the system when you hit, the, um, when you hit those controls. So if you do want to wire them up to your brake lights, your signal lights, that is something that uh, looks like will continue because they're receiving power from the light kit, the, the precedence kit, not necessarily the controller from the whips. So something to be careful of. Uh, I still wouldn't take them off or do it any other way. Obviously, if you don't want to run them, if it's daytime or whatever, you can pop them off with these quick connects and pop them off. And then if you just want to use them at night, obviously easy enough to do it. So we got our new batteries in, we got the whips in, which is pretty much the accessory I was going to use before I put this thing up for sale. So we're pretty much there. I was getting a little bit of a squeak out of the new brake drums uh, and brake shoes, but as we've been driving it, it's going away. So I might just leave that alone, maybe drive it a little bit more and wear them in. I might, before we sell it, they'll pop the wheels off, just run some brake cleaner over everything, make sure everything's fresh for the new owner. Uh, but we might see it a couple more times on the channel. Uh, but it's going to get put up for sale soon. So thanks for following along. If you are enjoying the content of these bills, please like and subscribe, as Lou would want to tell you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.